Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with another one of our videos on one of the markets within Dallas, Fort Worth. Today we're talking about Richardson, Texas and producer Mason has got at least one question for me, maybe a couple of follow-ups and we'll do our very best to let you know what Mason. Uh, if you've looked into the Richardson area, most people, the first thing they notice is the housing prices are pretty expensive for where it is. And I think that's the question we need to answer is why is Richardson so expensive, Todd? It's a good question. It's a little bit flawed though. So I always appreciate questioning the question before I answer the question. It's just my personal antagonistic style. But I will say this, depending on where you're coming from, that may or may not be true. We bring, we have a lot of buyers that move here from coastal states, right? New York, Florida, California. And to those people, Richardson looks fantastically affordable. If you've been living in North Texas for, let's just say most of your life, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you are asking the question, what happened in Richardson? You know, I used to be able to buy a three bedroom, two bath home over there for 150,000 and now it's 300,000. What the heck happened? Well, there's a couple of answers to that question. On the one hand, the simplest answer is housing prices in all of North Texas have climbed pretty significantly, uh, pretty much forever. I mean, if you look at the long-term timeline of housing values in North Texas, we typically see three to 5% annual appreciation, even factoring in some of the most negative periods we've ever dealt with. Now, if you are, you know, older than say, 30, you know, maybe, maybe even younger than that, then, then you have been of adult, you know, work home buying opportunity age since uh, we experienced the 2007, 8, 9 mortgage crisis, which really was the last, you know, negative, probably one of the most negative experiences that North Texas has had since the late 80s savings and loan bust. So factoring that in, um, we had an artificial kind of pause in our market and values didn't go up as fast as they, ha they, they traditionally did. We didn't get that three to 5% annual appreciation for about a three year stretch. And then we had about a seven or eight year stretch where we caught up and then continued to grow beyond that at a faster pace. And, and let me get, let you in on a little secret that's still happening right now. So I anticipate that average will at least maintain for a long time because Here's other, here's other answers to the question. Our population is growing. Uh, the amount of land availability in Richardson is almost non-existent now. There's almost nothing left. Even the multifamily that's being built is, is relatively high-end multifamily. We've had multiple corporate headquarters move to or relocate to or um, um, you know, kind of merge, consolidate in, in, within Richardson. Um, and you've got, you know, increasingly more and more reputable, uh, higher education, healthcare, uh, you know, Richardson is the very first community outside of Dallas to the North, right? It's still Dallas County for the most part. Collin County is exploding with growth and employment and all of those ancillary benefits of a community, again, healthcare, you know, rapid transit, all those things. Um, the education system is very highly regarded in Richardson, both Richardson and Plano ISD, which cover different parts of Richardson. Um, the Breckenridge area of Richardson, kind of north and east, 75082, uh, is, is explo has exploded with growth. With if you look at a homes, map of Richardson, what's that? If you look at a map of Richardson, it, you can call it the panhandle <laughs> of Richardson. It's yeah, kind of so a reverse Oklahoma. Going. Yeah, I can keep going. Um, and here's one last note on value because historically people have looked at West Richardson as uh, the more costly side of Richardson and East Richardson as the more affordable side. There's lots of reasons for that, but that's less and less true. It's still true, you know, pure numbers, but East Richardson has caught up in a lot of ways. The discrepancy, the gap between housing prices on the East and West has tightened a lot. And that's due to the lack of availability. Just there aren't a lot of homes to be bought in Richardson. So people that really want to be in Richardson have historically saved some money by moving east. And because of availability and affordability, that's been pressured up. West Richardson still on the average is going to be a higher price per square foot. But the gap between the two has tightened. And so there's some of the reasons I could go on probably for hours about the reason Richardson's wonderful and people are willing to pay a little bit more to live here, uh, here because our primary office is in Richardson. Go ahead. I was just going to make a note on West Richardson. I know that is probably where the prices have grown the most. 
And a lot of that is because there's a lot of older houses in Richardson that people are tearing down and then building much nicer houses in place of, and that's right. going to rise the value yeah, of so a lot your, of the houses. Your average cost in a market is going to average up as you see 1960s built 1200 square foot homes being torn down and 2019, 2020 built homes that are 3,200 square feet being built, right? And, and the tax base in the community goes up, tax values go up, and all those things are increasing. So, you know, some people love that. Some people hate that. By all means, if you're an original homeowner in Richardson, Texas, there's a lot of history there. There's a lot of um, the original population boom in Richardson, and, and some people would argue this, but a lot of that happened as Texas Instruments uh, began to build their campus very nearby and helped create a lot of the infrastructure, water and power and roads in the area because they needed it for their facility, but also for their employees and their staff. So that was happening in the late 60s, early 70s. And there are people that moved in then and never wanted to leave. And they haven't left. And so they would love to stay forever, but they're seeing tax values rise as property values rise. So there is some negativity, at least some negative opinions about the increased cost of home ownership and cost of living in Richardson. But let me add this final point. Relative to the rest of North Texas, relative to the rest of DFW, there's, there's not a significant difference in that increased price appreciation in Richardson compared to other places. There are certainly some places that have not seen the same appreciation that are not quite as costly. And of course, there are others that have seen more and are more costly. But it's been relatively reasonable and consistent and it makes sense in a lot of ways. Doesn't mean everybody likes it. And again, some people see it as super affordable, but those are the reasons and they're almost all positive in regard to good things, good growth, more interest, more um, you know, excitement, passion, loyalty to the community and things like that. So uh, for all those things, that is why some people see Richardson as a more expensive place to live. A, than it once was, or B, maybe than some other places they might consider. Now, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, like it, let people know it was good and informative and engaging. Also, share this with somebody that you think it might help, and then definitely subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos that we make about Richardson and other areas within the community. Click that little bell, and it'll let you know when we make those videos. You don't have to watch them all, but it'll let you know, and you could consider watching them. What else, Mason? I was just going to say, if you need help, looking in the Richardson area. I just bought a house or in the process of buying a house with our team, saved me tons of money, got a great deal, little house in got an older house in yeah. Richardson uh, that me and my wife are just super excited to move into. Yeah. So if we can ever help you, you can find us online at overunderagent.com, overunderagent.com, or wherever you're seeing this video, there's probably some contact information down below or out on the side or something like that. But you can comment below. We, re we do read every single comment. If we can help you right there in the comments, we'll be glad to do it. Otherwise, we'll take it offline and help you one-to-one. Uh, -one. Of course, if you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in the area like Mason is doing, we would, of course, love to earn your trust and help you out. So over under agent.com, and I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.